Jay from The Wanted. How are you, mate? Very good, thanks. How are you two doing? Yeah, good, good. You're sitting in a car at the moment with the rest of the boys heading off to a morning show interview or something. That's right, yeah. We're on the way to do a, a show called Daybreak where we have to be all smiles. Good. Well, because I was just looking on your, on Twitter and you were saying that you're in the car. You're playing some sort of game at the moment? But that's well, yeah. We're, uh, we're we're judging who takes long to get in the car from when their pickup meant to be. Oh uh, I'm winning with, with a time of three minutes left. So you guys... the car arrived. I took three minutes and I was straight in the van. Oh, you rock stars are so extreme, aren't you, with your games? <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll isn't dead, mate. Yeah, cut it out. Hey, look, mate, before we get on underway, I have to ask one question because on Twitter I asked what to ask you guys and everyone wants me to ask you, Jay, how long your lizard is. Uh, my lizard is 63 inches long. How long? Uh, but the girth is 33 inches, but the girth oh. is crazy. Are we, wow. talking, are we talking about your lizard still or? Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever you think. I do actually own a cold-blooded reptile called Tio, who's 33 inches long. Wow, that is a solid, girthy lizard, right? All well, the fans will be um, <laughs> glad you answered that. Yeah, what about your warm-blooded lizard that you've got? <laughs> uh, th- that's a little longer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the lies, the lies. Jay, you're on your way to New Zealand on the 12th of August. Are you excited to come down under? Yeah, of course we are. Uh, we've been to Australia before, but New Zealand is new for us, and we genuinely, we genuinely love travelling, and new territories are always exciting for us. And we like meeting our team, and they always like to show us where it's cool to go out. So, well, I wanted to say, Joe, I'll set your challenge because when the Beebs was here, because you guys will be supporting him shortly, um, when Bieber was here, he did some bungee jumps and he did some quite extreme ones, like backwards and a few different things. I'll set you guys to some challenges: who can do the most extreme sort of bungee jump while you're here? If we can make that happen, I will die a happy man because no, oh, none of us have ever bungee jumped before. But you know, you have a list of things you want to do. Bungee jumping up there, so uh, if we can do that, I'm happy. We can organise it, mate. I guarantee you we can sort out a bridge, we can get a rope, and we'll bloody jump off it. Well, because well, Justin Bieber did all the other stuff. He did backwards, he jumped off forwards, got dipped. I think the next logical step is probably nude, Jay, so I hope you're up for it. Totally. You'll see the lizard swinging around. <laughs> <laughs> get your lizard out there, he'll love it. Probably yeah. touch, the wa- <laughs> touch the water before you do. Another question here I've got to ask you from Natalie, Jay. It says, um, how strong are your feelings towards Nathan? Uh... They're, they're burning, actually. They're burning in my loin. But the feeling is love. It's one of hatred. <laughs> oh, tell us more. What is uh, this? I'm kidding. No, it's all good. Actually, I think a lot of our fans, as me and Nathan are the single members, uh, started to suspect that there's some sneaky goings on there. Right. Me and you are quite alike, Jay, age-wise. You're in your early 20s. But I'd argue that you're living the dream slightly more. I saw a story about you pashing some Playboy bunny. Yes, that might have happened. How was it? Talk me through it. As another single man, I need to hear about this. <laughs> well, we were actually in Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion. It was Nathan's birthday, so for reasons unknown to me, we got invited. We had the sort of time that you'd expect to have, but that you don't exactly tell your mum about. Is there like any sort of rule when you get to the mansion, like you're told you're not allowed to do this, but otherwise go nuts? There was, I mean, there was no rules given to us. We arrived, uh, we walked through this, like, amazing tunnel of, uh, of like, archways and lights, and we got told... Vaginas. birthday, Nathan. Uh, some guy brought out a hanger with Hugh's dressing gown on. He slipped it on, we did a picture, and then we were good to go. Us and all our crew, all our team, just had the most insane time. Ooh, I'd hate to know what's on the inside of that dressing gown, Jay. I hope you wash your hands and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there are things growing on that that are older than me. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't stick to you when you try to take it off. So how did you trick take one of the uh, trick one of the bunnies into kissing you? Yeah, well, there was a there was a few other guests there as well uh, that weren't bunny uh, dressed up. There were obviously there were always going to be bunnies at the mansion, but there, there were a few there that were just guests of Fuse, and they were very accommodating and friendly and. Uh, I'd love to see them again. It'd be great if we're ever back there. <laughs> that <laughs> is time awesome. You catch up. How many phones have you lost, Jay? This question comes from Natalie in New Zealand. Also, Natalie, the wanted NZ. Somewhere between number eighteen to twenty, and I'm not actually sure <laughs> what number I'm on now. For the year or what? For your life? Uh, for the past two years. Oh my god. <laughs> So do you keep all your yeah. do you keep all your contacts in a notepad because you know you're going to lose your SIM card and your phone? You know, <laughs> well. no, it's all about the iCloud, mate. Syncing it up is easy. Oh, Technology. you bingo, yeah. Good. Just quickly, you guys are kind of like royalty in England. You guys got to carry the Olympic torch. You didn't burn your hands, did you? <laughs> no, uh, we we got through it uh, completely malfunction free, but that was a properly properly top day. Did you use the the torch to light anything that you weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, uh, you know what it was. We were all we were all worried about dropping it and uh, setting our hair on fire. We were all like stepping away from the hairspray big time. But uh, that was one day I'll never forget. I'll, I'll turn a hundred and still talk about that.
I would have I'll be that boring. just roll a giant cigarette and light it just for the novelty of it. <laughs> I mean, choice. And then get tackled, tackled to the floor by Olympic officials. Yeah, true, true. You don't want that, do you? You can't run away from Olympic officials. They're the fittest out there. They're pretty good. <laughs> hey, well, Jay, we'll catch you when you come over, eh? Wicked. See you.